Action. You know, everyone's had dolls and toys and things growing up, and you associate those with, with happy thoughts and good times in your life. So whenever you're, you come across things that have such a positive association that you, you think you trust and they deceive you, it becomes all the more scary, you know? Ew. Ew. <laughs> Really not the, one one, right? the Annabelle doll is a very creepy creation. What we designed in The Conjuring is a very effective doll. Okay, you're cut. That's great. She's way bigger than I thought she was going to be. I think it's very important that she looks somewhat human. So that, you know, in those long shots, when you walk down the hallway and Annabelle's just plopped up against a chair, you want your character to walk by and kind of go, huh? Was that someone there? And then once you do like a double take, you realize it's a doll. And it's those eyes. They're sort of, you know, uh, milky blue, sort of, uh, they're demon eyes. I am always, I'm convinced that something, something bad will happen with Annabelle's around. She, she freaks me out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Stop rid of it. And watch, on eBay, people are gonna be snarfing them up. They're gonna be paying thousands of dollars to have an Annabelle doll. And then when they turn that light out, baby, they're gonna hear. I don't care how skeptical you are. Action, please. If somebody offers to have the Annabelle doll sleep in your house, you will almost certainly reject that possibility. Yeah, nobody's 100% a cynic, because I'm telling you, there are people who claim to be, and we said, take Annabelle home, and it's like, Hell no. Hell no. So I, so I think, yeah, Annabelle still scares. It's so creepy seeing that thing just sitting there, I have to say. Just, oh my god. Even though it was up framed, it was actually kind of cool and weird. Yeah, it was kind of cool. It was great. I love working on horror movies because you can be really creative, and it's always nice to be able to help set the mood for the film through what I bring to it, with, which is the decoration, and working with a production designer and a director to really help bring that vision. There's a scene in the film where Mia walks into the nursery and she finds that all of the collection of dolls has been ravaged by the demon, Annabelle. So we're distressing the dolls, painting them, we're clipping their hair, we're burning them a little bit, we're shredding their clothing. Make sure you blow it out, Ara. We're putting hot glue all over them, making them look real creepy and gross. You just keep adding layers and it gets better. We're using mostly watercolor to change some of the coloring on them, but then a lot of it is coming from what we call streaks and tips, which is like colored hairsprays. So that makes them look dirty or burnt. It's my latest correction. I'm upside down. <laughs> There's one over here where a doll is eating her own hand, which I think has a nice little touch to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it.